Hey everyone, oh my gosh, we're here! This is the 10th episode of Mafia Definitive Edition and we are going to finish it today and I'm scared. I'm excited, but I'm scared. I don't know, I just don't think this is gonna end well. Thank you so much for being here. If you're new, I don't really know why you're just watching the end, but hi, my name is Meg. Last we left off, we killed Morello and it was epic. It was like one of the most fun things that's ever happened to me in a video game where I had to shoot down a plane and it was just all around super fun and crazy, but it was also kind of disturbing at times and yeah. But then we saw the intermezzo and we jumped to 1938. And when Tom is talking to the detective he mentions basically through foreshadowing that there's going to be some kind of betrayal that there's going to be some kind of paranoia with the boys so i'm nervous so we're gonna go ahead and jump in i'm really happy you're here let's get started i also wanted to let you guys know that my wonderful mod and friend ruby got me i think three saints row games not the newest one but the ogs so this isn't really that similar, but if you're interested, that is going to be something that I'm playing. I haven't decided whether I'm streaming it or not. That scares me every single time. You don't even understand. You don't, you don't understand. It scares me every time I never learn my lesson. But yeah, that's something to look forward to. Also, Mafia 2. Oh, also, he wants to trade Salieri for his family which I'm like, how did you get there? Because you were the favorite child. But Salieri. Go back and forth with him, you know. We are going to kill this person. We're going to give him a third eye. The politician. Hey, Tommy. Boss says you got something for me. Yeah, I got a shipment in from a guy at Fort Stanmore. Now, Salieri wants this to run like clockwork, so no hate to the guy's head bursts. I hit little Tony, stash one of these, where you need it. So, up high in the old prison? Yeah. Family's got a lot of history in that place. Hoods who live there now ain't so classy. So watch yourself. Little Tony locked the rifle up tight in the room with a view. Up on the top floor. Sick of that politician shit in the papers, Tommy. We own this town now. Right between the eyes, huh? Whoa, his eyes are... Find a way inside. And make are covered the by the hat. The top deck is locked. <laughs> He's still talking, sorry. <laughs> My bad. Hmm, what we gonna drive today? So let's see. I definitely want... Okay, that's a good one. That's a good one too. Oh my god, that one's cool. Oh, I can go... I didn't... The motorcycle is okay. I want the silver one. Yeah, let's go fancy. Behringer's department store has been serving the people of Lost Heaven for more than 65 years. We care for this city and for each and every customer that comes through our door. We want the best for them and their families, and that's why this message is a little different. In recent years, our city has fallen prey to criminal elements. <laughs> Only one man has shown that he has the strength and the moral fortitude required to once again allow the people to walk the streets without fear, with hope in their hearts. All right. That man is Hank Turnbull. Mr. Turnbull stepped away from political life after 20 years as congressman of the 27th district. The appalling situation our state finds itself in has compelled him to step into the breach once more. And we could have no finer champion in the governor's mansion than Hank Turnbull. He'll bring all his experience to bear on the criminals that have made our streets their playground. Proven in the battlefield that is the 27th Congressional District, 
This car is very fast, accelerates very fast. Stepping back on the field in our time of need. He receives the full backing and endorsement of the Behringer family and Behringer's department store. Behringer's department store and Hank Turnbull leading the way for a brighter future. Vote Turnbull for governor. Okay, well, I'm gonna kill him, so. You won't be able to vote for him, actually. Um, I don't know. It might not work. I love the... Oh, the river. Where do I park? Here we go. Find a way into the prison. Nice. Well, I see here. Nice. Hey, fella. Come over. You with Tony? Yeah. Your friend said you wanted the guard tower. Bade me to mark the way with this sign. Folks go through the sewer. Only way in. Then just keep heading up. Oh no. Ah. Uh, I'd rather not. Oh jeez. Killer Croc's going to get me. <laughs> I'm scared. Thanks so much. Someone's coming through. No. Well, you ain't one of us. You're not welcome here. I'm warning you, Mister. <laughs> oh, fuck. Okay. Okay, put your fucking gun away. Put your gun away right now. See, I don't understand. Okay, are we just shooting him? That's kind of cruel, huh? Well, I didn't understand. Not funny, but it is a little bit. Uh, I didn't go backwards, right? No. Oh, there's health in here. Okay, great. Is that you, cop? You're locked up tight, not getting in. Lost heaven typewriter. Someone's coming through. Okay, but I need. Is our lullaby. Request proof of reason for visit. Ensure fellow guards are present both in and front and behind secured door. Blah, blah, blah. I got in anyways. <laughs> ah, I don't like this. Is this foreshadowing? Cause he's going to end up locked up. I'm scared. In the 
follow the guard tower. It's, uh, up through the main cell block. Case locked most of the time. Keep the feds out. Thanks. Be careful in here, stranger. We're protective of our own. Noted. I'm nervous. Like, why am I picking up so much ammo? I'm supposed to shoot them guys this is so bad i'm sorry <sighs> i don't know how to just use my fists though So I put that one down, sell cells. Close to the guard tower. Real close. Elevator's out, but you can take the stairs. Thank you. It's a lot of magazines in here. Hmm. This is a beautiful view, though. Oh, my goodness. There it is. Another assassination, my favorite. Yeah. I gotta hold my breath.
Oh, shit. Come on, let's go. Okay, this is, so I used all that help. my god i thought that i did something wrong this is such a mess guys what i don't have a gun no i probably do list of legal electrocutions oh my god i mean you know i've murdered a lot of people oh this is the exit <gasps> shot came from up here chief said he was declared dead at the scene Vincenzo! <gasps> the music, guys! Wait, did I have to open? Oh, fuck. on me. Detain everyone you see. The police. It's the police. We'll only come back, bastards. You're good. Notice to vacate. You are living within a property owned by. Come on, leave the homeless alone. You've done enough. idea that he's just taking a bunch of random pills this guy's my favorite that guy over there what
Okay, that's not working. You dead yes i think i'm going down guys why would i go up like i want to escape from the prison and there's a health I think the health might be upstairs. Oh no, it's right here. But now what? Here? That was pretty cool, guys. You have to admit that was pretty, <laughs> that was pretty cool. <laughs> I can't see anything. Oh my god, I'm so afraid. at murder. I'm not laughing at murder. Hell yeah, let's go. Where am I? Um, do I want to go in a car? The option just popped up for me, so I don't know. It was that easy. Just kind of hide. They're just slowly walking back. <laughs> I give up. <laughs> I 
Not the slow walk. drive away now. Maybe if I just put my gun away and just casually walk out. Like, I'm just headed home, you know? <laughs> just going for a jog. Drive home. Okay. I'll get the police here. Really? this car very much. That's so funny. I was trying so hard and all I had to do was hide. I had to run and hide. He's gone. Go back to patrols. We'll get him next time. We'll get him next time. Just another day at work. No. I like driving on sidewalks. It's like my own personal lane. So am I driving home home, like to my house, or am I driving to their place, you know? I'm curious. Tommy's house. Maybe I shouldn't park the stolen car here. Oh well. Crooked as the day is long. It says in the paper he's going to be remembered for fighting to pass the 19th Amendment. Put his whole career on the line for Oop. it. Which one was that again? Woman suffrage, you idiot. 
He gave me the right to vote, Tom. Gave it to his wife and six daughters, too. Guess nobody's just one thing, are they? Ooh. Ooh. Guess not. I gotta go to work. <sighs> Tom. Don't do nothing you don't want to be remembered for, you hear me? Too late. Bradley, too late for that. A yikes. A yikes. Still, uh, the assassination quests are really fun for me. <laughs> so, it's true, though. It's true. I have a lot of fun with them just for relaxation. Nice. Excellent. Yeah, it's great, boss. And this is just a taste. I got a line on a whole shipment of Cameroons that have been impounded by customs. You guys are going to grab them. You want us to boost cigars? Something wrong with that? Customers in our nightclubs are paid through the nose for quality cigars. Still, it seems, I don't know, small time. Uh, you're the one who's saying that? I just knew you were a smart one, Tom. Can't put nothing past you. Small time is exactly right. That's how it's supposed to look, anyhow. The cigars are just a cover for a shipment of hot ice. The smuggled diamonds have been hidden in some of the boxes. Ooh. The feds haven't found them yet. We're stealing diamonds from the feds? Don't worry about it. I've already discussed all the details with Sam here. He'll fill you in. Now, I got a meeting with the mayor at his favorite gentleman's club. Work out the details oh, together. Oh, you hot But I shot. want those cigars back here before anyone catches on to the real loop. You got it? Sure, bus. Great. And don't drink all the good stuff while I'm gone. You know about this. Boss and I worked it out last night. We got a plan. Now, I'm not saying it's a good plan, but it won't get us killed. Probably. So what, then? We got a guy on the inside or something? No. We got to do this on our own. And it'll be rough. Cigars are packed in crates at the harbor. Shit. The place will be crawling with security. Yeah. Brute force won't work. Got to play this one cool. So we're going to steal a customs truck. Slip right in. Christ. I'm going to kill the poor bastard driver. No. We'll just scare him a bit. All we need is his paperwork. Right. We don't need the hassle of dumping a body. Come on. Let's see if we can get eyes on a customs truck down by the docks. You alright, Tom? Yeah. Just trying to figure out the angle is up. What's there to figure? Boss says a job needs doing, we're doing it. Just seems like a lot to put on the line. Even for some diamonds. The feds pinch us. We could do serious time. Is he setting Tommy up? Then let's make sure we don't get caught. Right? I'm so confused. Like, is he gonna yeah. blame them? I don't know. Like, why? I'm scared. <laughs> I'm really scared. I got gear for the job stashed down near the harbor. If either of you need something special, go see Vinny. All I need is a stiff drink. For Christ's sake, Polly, just lay off for one night, please. Where's Vinny again? He's up here. I didn't want to see if that's actually possible to get a different gun. Whiskey business tonight, Tom. Take whatever you need. Thank you. Oh, this is so cool. Um, so what do I have? No. Well. Service promotion. Tommy gun. Hmm. 
Rupara. Oh, that's cool. But do I have anything that'll show me the weapons? Nope. Semi auto pistol service revolver. Knife is exactly what I need, I feel. Okay, great. Um, for stealth. And then I feel like I need a service revolver. Ooh. No, I want, yeah. No, 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 I don't want this one. I think, oh, frickin'. Why do I keep getting this? I'm really annoyed. It wants me to have the Tommy gun, I think. Okay, whatever. At least I have the knife. Bye bye. Remember when you got made? Shaking down stores, whacking small time punks. Feels a lot. It does. Yeah, don't change, Vinny. One dead guy is the same as the next. Yeah. Right, let's go. I'm scared. Would you relax? You're making me nervous playing around with your piece like that. Sorry. Just got a lot on my mind as well. <laughs> that show. I'd have figured there wasn't enough room up there. <laughs> Go ahead and laugh, assholes. You guys are done. I don't even think I got plans. But you're wrong. You got big plans. What? Yeah. Spill it then. What are you working on? Been thinking about hitting up a savings and loan downtown. You want to rob a bank? Sure. I've been casing the place for months. I got it all worked out. I just need a few guys I can count on to watch my back. We're robbing a bank that's a little out of our league. We're robbing the fucking feds, ain't we? What's the difference? Well, Salieri's the goddamn difference, you nitwit. The Don sent us to steal these cigars. There ain't no way he sanctions a bank job. Well, then we don't tell him. Uh oh. You want to step out on the Don? No. Not really. We can cut him in after we make the score. He'll be bent, sure. But he won't stay mad once he gets his share. I don't know, Polly. Yeah, I fucking know. You do what you want. I won't say nothing. Yeah, I owe you that much. But so, Yeri? If he finds out you're going behind his back, you'll be planted right next to Morello. You ask me, there ain't no hall worth that. Unless He's you're right trying to him. escape. You bring it to the Don or let it go. Yeah. Just get to daydreaming, you know. Wake up. We're here. Maybe I think he Tom, might want to leave. Find a custom truck to meet us near the impound. Me and Polly? We'll go get the rest of the gear. Right. You got your head together. Yeah. Sober as a priest. That's what I'm afraid of. Hey, quit Aww. busting my balls. I'm good.
Poor Polly. I think he wants out. Hi. Search. Okay, so am I getting out? I don't think so. A customs truck. Okay. My bad, my bad. Ah! My bad again. Sorry. Exhibit. Bear witness to the rise and fall of empires. Since time began, the fortunes of civilization have been entwined with the prosperity or decline of great empires. Reserve your ticket and see the exhibit that is sure to have everyone talking. Marvel at artifacts from civilization's greatest heights and learn how such formidable powers were brought low and usurped. Ooh, I feel like that's foreshadowing for sure. Good evening, folks. This is WBDS. It's been quite the day down here at Barringer's. The store has been jam-packed all day with people securing the best deals in the city. There's no reason to feel left out, though, as we have the best deals each and every day. Come see us tomorrow and make sure you don't miss out. At Behringer's, we're proud to say we keep up with the times. That means we have the most extensive range of radio receivers available anywhere in the city. Our radio department is a paradise for music lovers with the best sets and components from both home and abroad. With equipment to fit all tastes and budgets, Behringer's radio department is the last place you ever need look. Shush. Park up over there, Tom. Really? You're going to make me? <clears throat> Those poops. Right in the fucking square, huh? <laughs> Jesus. Nice outfits. You guys look Where's good. Uh, uh, this is all we got, pal. Besides, there's only room for two in the cap. You can ride in the back. Sure, you keep your head down, or this whole thing is blown. Forget about it. I know when to keep my head down. Mm. I'm worried they're both gonna die. Make you say that to all the girls. <laughs> Come on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's get moving. All right, all right. Jesus Christ. Ay, ay, ay. Scared. You comfortable back there, Tom? What the hell do you think? What's the plan when we get to the impound? I don't know. We look for crates that came from Cameroon or something. The cigar place. You know how big the impound is? Relax. It'll be empty this time of night. We'll have the run of the place. Hey, you got your papers? Ah, uh, crap. Uh, yeah. Uh, Pete, you got the papers? The dash. What was that? Oh, is what? What? Here you go, pal. All right, go through. Busy night tonight. Might not find a spot. Hear that? There's gonna be guys everywhere. Ooh. It'll be fine. 
We just gotta think on our feet. Thinking on my feet is my worst thing, Sam. You know that. <laughs> do you guys call this? We need to have gone through these shipments by sunup. Yeah. Sorry, we couldn't find our papers. But we found them again. Just show us what to do, pal. Or no. No, nobody. It's just that some of us know what time we gotta clock in. Come with me. Okay, Tom, looks like it's on you. Uh. Get into the warehouse and find a cigar crate that's hiding the diamonds. Okay. They keep records on everything here, so search their files. You're looking for Cameroon cigars that came in on a boat called the Bohemia. Shipped off on Tuesday, 23rd. Got that? Yeah. Don't get caught. Don't get seen. Why does all the hard find stuff fall on him? I know why. He's the most capable. Like, why couldn't he have gotten in uniform? Fancy got guys working over that tonight. How he had took a cigar crate out of the warehouse. I have a hunch some of the Cameroons we impounded him in the Bohemia docked might be hiding what we were looking for. When you come in, get into the warehouse and check the rest of the boxes. Yes. Huh. This will help. Mm hmm. So, am I going up? Ah, fellas, speed this up. Once we're done with the small crates, we start cracking open the big ones next door. Good boy. Face your assholes. The crates are in the warehouse. Okay. Is this the warehouse? Warehouse and storage. Okay.
Storage A1. Oh, Bohemia storage D2. Okay. Interesting. Please don't come in here. Scared me. Huh. Come on, fellas. Speed this up. Once we're done with the small crates, we start cracking open the big ones next door. Interesting. Yes. Good night, bitch. Ah, crap. Oh, Voice no. Huge. Okay, boys. Check each crate, then we'll start cracking them open. There's hundreds. Ah, then lucky you. Have an all night to search them. Me too. Huh. This will help. So I guess that was if I didn't get that other one. Found him. So Place is huge. Okay, boys, check each crate, then we start cracking them open. There's hundreds. Then look. Huh. You have so, I have to get them out. Like, I have to knock them out, no matter what. I don't know how they saw me, though. Who saw me? Oh, I see him. Wow, this is hard. Yeah, I don't think there's any taking them out for this one. No cigars, no diamonds. Hey. 
Surprised they haven't heard that, but I'll t <laughs> in case you're you know. I'll take it. This is B2, not D2. Keep turning up squat. can still oh check i think this is c gotta be fine that it's so yeah d2 Give me a break. <laughs> Found them. And they're there. There right? he is. Yeah. Oh. Poor guy. You sure we're getting what we came for? We're aces, boys. Good. Let's get them loaded and get out of here. That's the last of them. Let's dangle. Uh-oh. I'm not riding in the back again. You're a better wheelman anyway. Just don't drive us into the bay. Shit. You hear that? Let's go. Okay, Tom. Got it. Let's go! Let's go! Okay. So let's get out of sight fast as you can, Tom. Okay, so we gotta go right. See a roadblock. Please send some officers down here now. I think I was just seen. Ugh, there's one over there. Will they see me? I think I can go this way. L O L. I'm in a back alley. I am in a back alley. Okay, 
Okay, this seems okay. Nope, they haven't seen me because I'm doing great. never want to drive a truck. God. Okay. I think we go straight if possible. This is not an option. Or, yeah, we go like this. But there's a roadblock there. No, I think that was just a car. I don't know. Wow, this is fucking crazy. Where are they? Okay. Hopefully. Where the hell were you back in the compound? We were about to give up. The place was a maze. It's a miracle I found the Miracle. Crits. Next time we pull something like this, we need a better plan. More information. A better plan? He got the ice, didn't he? Yeah, but next time... Next time what? We run it all through you? A scores like these are your best thing? Oh. Guys, I'm trying to drive here. Let's get back to the warehouse without LHPD on our tail, huh? Sure. We got the diamonds. The boss will be happy. That's all that matters right now. Those rocks had better be as big as the goddamn rich for all the crates we had to move tonight. Yeah. I feel for you guys.
Okay, here we are. Hey, Polly. You okay? Wait, why? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, a couple of these crates are shot to shit though. How bad is it? It's the worst of it. I don't look too good. Don's gonna be pissed if we ruined any of the cigars. What the hell? Christ. It's dope. You sure? Yeah, I'm sure. So we didn't tell Where them? The there ain't any. This is the real score. No. No, 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 no. Don said we would get diamonds. You can open every box. You're not going to find them. We put our fucking necks out on the line for this shit. Looks like it. Damn it. Better cool off, Polly. The Don's coming. Shit. We don't say nothing about this to the Don. Okay, if he wanted us to know, he would have told us. He should have come clean. Sure. But for now, we keep our trap shut. Yeah, I agree right? with Sam. Yeah, okay. Polly. What is he doing? Yeah, yeah I ain't saying nothing. Any problems, boys? One of the crates got a little banged up, is all. All right. Oh, it doesn't look too bad. Might have lost a few cigars, but otherwise the merchandise should be okay, boss. Besides, ain't diamond supposed to be the hardest thing around? Outside of my cock, maybe. Well, bravo, boys, bravo. Okay, well <laughs> no one laughs. Your way. <laughs> you want us to unload the crates into the warehouse? No, you can take a powder. These morons are gonna take it from here. You sure? What I say. Okay, boss. We'll dangle. Sam, give me a lift back to the bar. I don't like sure, this, boss. Salieri. You guys coming? Nah, we'll take the train. Okay. See you later. What is even the point of putting their necks out on the line when... God damn it. I just about had it, Tommy. Yeah. If we got busted with all that smack, we would have died in prison. Yeah, but what are you gonna do? I already told you. Rob a bank. The bank. Yeah. I don't care what Sam says. I'm getting that score. How much you figure? You want in? We're just talking. I knew I could count on you, pal. Uh oh. It's not good, guys. I feel for them, though. I so really do. Grand Imperial. Near North Park meets downtown. Yeah, been there. A while back. Well, the security don't look tight. Easy getaway. Tellers who don't look like they put up a fight. Can't do it alone. Maybe. I'm not moving Black Tar for the Don. Especially if he's not cutting us in. And... I don't know. I just never want to be in that street again. What street? On my knees. Watching some poor skirt burn. Just because she got in our way. Yeah. It was the wrong place in the wrong time. Just tough luck. Seems there ain't no other kind with us. I'm telling you, mm. Tom, this is perfect. I wouldn't ask you to come in on this if I didn't think it was our ticket. We'll see. I'm not signing up for the job until I see what's what. If I get pinched, Sarah's done with me. <sighs> this reminds me of my trade station in. Um... I get that. Story of Queen for them. Watch it, buddy. You're treading into enemy territory without a map. Yeah, I don't know what it's like for you going home to your wife and kid, but that's why I'm doing this. Who's gonna marry me? Nearly 40 years old and nothing to show for it but my rap sheet. But we do this, I get enough scratch to finally get out. So he's not Who giving knows? them enough, You're really. Not domestic life, Bobby. I wonder what their percentage Six is. In, you'll put a bullet in your brain out of boredom. Christ. I'm ready to punch my ticket right now. We sit around for six months, just playing cards and busting balls, and I start to get lazy. 
Then everything blows up, but I gotta knock the rust off or I'm dead. One day I'm fighting to stay awake while the Don's telling us a story about the old days. One I've already heard a hundred times, and the next day, the next day I'm getting shot at. I'm trying to keep from shit in my pants. It's fucking wearing me out, Tommy. Yeah. <laughs> For the big one, though. I know it's a snipe hunt. Every little monster goes to bed dreaming about that last big score. But if we do this thing, I don't know. Might be just enough to get me a little pizzeria or something, you know? Sure. But if we're doing this, we're waiting until things calm down. Ah. Uh. You're already hooked, pal. Maybe. I don't feel good. <laughs> I love him. I just want to give him a hug. He's so self-aware. I feel so bad for him. Oh, Polly. He just wants to settle down. Isn't that what we all want? <laughs> you know? Oh, no. Plan stays the same. Right. I take care of the crowd. You handle the manager. Threats don't work. Do what you gotta do. Keeps the vault keys on them. See, so a teller sounds the alarm. How long do we get? Five minutes. Maybe more. Before the cops show. What if it all goes to hell? I'm not fucking around, Tom. You hear gunshots down at the vault? Don't come up. It's the money or nothing at all. So Tommy has been secretly desperate too, you know? Doing this? We're doing it. Don, the Don's been wearing him down. Everyone's on the floor. Get the fuck down. Not you, ladies. Stay where we can see your pretty faces. Anybody moves, I'll pop them. Oh my God, no. I need you all to stay on the ground. I see movement, people start getting shot. They're crying. We all want everyone to get to go home and hug their kids tonight, right? No heroes, not today. No kidding around, you saw God that? <sighs> Please let us go. We won't do it. What thing. are you doing? Oh shit. With me. Down to the vault. I'll do whatever you say. No one needs to get hurt. How do I? Oh, Keep at moving. gunpoint. Oops. Okay, go. I was just it's pushing okay, him. Beating on a little guy. Nervous, it's making me feel rich. And the little guy gets to walk away if he doesn't do anything stupid. This reminds me of the Red Dead Redemption 2 mission. One. You gonna shoot? I don't know. If I see a gun, he gets a bullet. So you tell him to stand down. It's all on you. Manager here is being good and cooperative. We're all doing what we're told, aren't we, buddy? Keep moving. You won't get away with this. Your sort never do. You just worry about yourself. You want to see your daughter graduate from high school. 
You keep your hands where I can see them and tell your guard to do the same. Remember, when we get to your guard, you tell him to drop his gun. You got that? I don't think he's going to. Listen to me very carefully. I need you to put down your... Oh, sick him, boys! Ah! I shoot him! Um, where are the gunshots? There we go. the police are going to show up. Jesus, Mary and Joseph. Wow. Wake him on it. Oh no. How did that happen? The cops are here. Let's go. Get the money. Oh. It's time to go. Have I gone? Have I dealt with this guy? I've killed every police around town. Let's go, Tommy. <laughs> I love it how he's just like, let's go. Whatever. Take it. 
We'll find him. Club. Hey, it's Sam's empty Club. Right now. <laughs> but you don't know, can't hurt him. Oh. Oh my god, we're going to Sam's <laughs> Sam's Club. <laughs> that was your fault. <laughs> A maniac. We're almost there, Tom. We've almost done it. It's still almost, Polly. We'll only have done it once my heart stops trying to beat outside my chest. Why was that easier than like most things we've done? <laughs> Robbing a bank. go i'll see you tomorrow unless i'm halfway to hawaii oh come on <laughs> i'm kidding hey i couldn't have done this without you i know that go home celebrate with sarah come by my place in the morning we'll split up the dough yeah okay i'm a little nervous about that see you around pal That last big score. Okay. Uh oh. Well, look at this. Christ has finally risen. I was getting ready to call the coroner. Sorry. Had a bit of trouble falling asleep this off. Me too. Thanks to you tossing and turning all night. Do they both have gray hair? <gasps> Wait, what? Okay, what you do? Just feeling lucky, is all. Got that right, champ. But I've been thinking. Oh, yeah? I'll call the papers. <laughs> I've been thinking about taking you and a kid out to the shore. You serious? Ain't you working? Uh, Polly and me, we've come into some money. Huh. One of his cracked angles finally pay off? Yeah, something like that. <laughs> Pack a few bags. I'll swing by after I go around to Polly's. Okay, so this is me, the Tom? same year. Nothing. Sure, you and Polly are suddenly flush, and now you want to leave town for a few days? That don't square. What's the point of making a buck if we can't spend it? That ain't it. You're moving, even when you're standing still. Yeah, you're nervous about something. Polly, you don't even know why yet. Well, that must be it. Well, you better figure it out before you get to Polly's. Just in case it's him that got you all wound up. <laughs> Polly's all right. Don't worry about it. Stop. Well, I'm nervous.
Before he became a taxi driver, Tommy worked on a road crew. He lived in camps for months at a time, building highways through the, through the northern United States. Tommy eventually tired of the itinerant life and moved back to Lost Heaven in 1926, using the money he had saved to buy himself a cab. Yeah, I'm just exploring the house. Stop. I'm really scared. Three of a kind. Stop. I'm really scared. What if, like, Salieri gets him killed? Bank raid suspects at large. Violent robbery that took place yesterday. Enormous hall. No. Well, Sam would know, so I'm worried that Sam's gonna, like... Go behind our backs and tell Salieri, and then Salieri's gonna kill... At least try to kill... <sighs> I don't know! Can I go upstairs or the baby gate prevents me? <laughs> I think the baby gate <laughs> prevents me. If you keep hanging around, you're gonna end up packing bags. Oh. Kind of weird that he calls his kid the kid. Not, you know, whatever its name is. I don't even know if it's a boy or girl. <laughs> say they still have no solid leads in the case of the audacious bank robbery that recently shocked the city. The victors of the Battle of the Grand Imperial, as it's become known, remain at large. The robbery in which I thugs emptied the vault and left a trail of dead was one of the largest recorded in the state by dollar amount. Whoa. The raid was executed with a high degree of violence, and although successful, did not seem to be the work of professional bank robbers. That is according to a source within the FBI who has spoken to a courier journalist on the condition of anonymity. At the time okay. of the robbery, the chief of police was adamant that those responsible would be brought to justice swiftly and that all the resources of the Lost Heaven Police Department were available to the case's See. lead investigator. However, Despite conducting numerous interviews and fielding calls from the public, an actionable lead has yet to be forthcoming. Okay. The chief of police has stated that those with any information about the robbery or the perpetrators can anonymously contact their local police station. No. As time passes, the greater the pressure on the chief to achieve results. If he's unable to secure justice for those slain that day, and due to the violence meted out, it must only be a matter of time before the G-Men take over. Thank you for listening. Now we take you back to some of the latest musical numbers. This is Lost Heaven Radio, broadcasting on 570 AM. No, thank you. I don't want a copyright strike. Well, Let's see you turn it up. Go back to patrols. We'll get him next time. I wonder if it's the same guy who's running over cops. You know?
just worried he's gonna be dead by the time I get there. Like, I just don't think it's gonna be a happy ending. How can it be? Hey, you have the same car as me. Money's gone. It was, it was, I was gonna say Morello because birds of a fucking feather. I swear to God, I'm gonna, it, it was Salieri. Fucking skull. Oh God! I was, I was calling to warn him. About what? Jesus Christ! I owe you fellas my life three times over. Warn him about what, Sam? Salieri. He found out about the bank job. You're in deep shit, Tom. You gotta disappear. Okay. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, I just need some cash to get me and the girls out of town. Can you swing that? Sure. Anything, pal. You want me to come to Polly's? No. No, I can't stay here. Uh, meet me at the, the city gallery. Yeah, okay. Keep your head down, Tom. I'll see you soon. And uh, thanks, Sam. I always pay my debts, son. You know that. Fuck Salieri. All my homies hate Salieri. wanted his fucking, fucking pizzeria. I call the cops. Something ain't right. Someone said it could have been gunshots. But, you know, the game gave us all the signs that this was Salieri, that he was pretty much the same, you know? As this BFF Morello.
Oh, wow, it's so gloomy. So you just shot him and took the money, you greedy fuck? Like you don't have enough money smuggling dope? But I love that Tommy is like giving the detective information. Take him down. Don't move, Tommy. <gasps> Shit. Hey, Tom. Sam. What the hell's going on? You and Polly. You put me in a bad spot. I know, Sam, but I'm sorry about that, but I need to get out of town. Can you help me or not? There you go again. Making me choose between my friends and the family. This is what you were looking for, Polly's. Here's your cut. It's more than you deserve. Sam. You killed him. You killed Polly. What? No. Polly got himself killed. And you seem real tore off about it. I'm just in a good mood. Things are right between me and the Don. I'm moving up, and I just found this big bag of money. The Don knows about Frank, Tom. The whore, too. That whore? The girl you were sweet on? Wait, wait, wait. You're the one that let her live. Sorry about this, Tom. But our business has rules. Shame, too. Don Salieri really liked you. Were you jealous? Guess we'll both have a good cry at your funeral. You think you're doing this because you're loyal, but you're not. What? You're just scared. Maybe. But you would have lived a lot longer if you would have just looked over your shoulder from time to time. Goodbye. Don't let him suffer, boys. He's my buddy. Here I go, I guess. What? He was jealous? Over here. Oh my god. Did he shoot Polly himself? Or he I mean, probably got his people to do it. I can't believe this. fuck is wrong with you like truly god was he planning this the whole time i can't breathe i feel sick i feel sick like this is i literally got the death and and the betrayal I thought it was either our the fuck is wrong with you dude i don't have a bull i don't have bullets okay like why not just let us leave no 
help but just let us leave. Like, you went up above and beyond to be a fucking dick. You have a stupid hat, sir. Take your bones, boys. Sorry, Tom. You do the same. No, I wouldn't. What? to kill him right right i don't want to even though he's a poop tommy wouldn't guys do you have bro this That was close. Gonna be honest, that was pretty close. Shut up! 
Okay. So. Need ammo. Bad. You still had respect for the dog. Swallow this down. What the fuck? fuck? You, Sam. I yeah. Know you do the same, Tom. Stop saying I that. Oh my god, all this art. Get over here now! Over here! Running out of guys yet! Still not over time! Megan, be careful. <clears throat> nice. How many? Sam, I have to kill him. Well, makes sense. That's fucking. S oh, fine, Sam. Self defense, if I ever seen it. I'm scared. I'm legit scared of him. Is it pays for a lot of muscle? Put them down, boys. I thought that was Salieri for a second. <laughs> he read him. He could have moved to the fucking beach with us. We could have opened a fucking pizzeria. We could have been the like five guys, except three guys. Okay, I don't understand. Nice use of the firebomb. Oh. Ooh, I like the shotgun. This is wow. I know that. I've seen it grow in you for years. Now there's only one 
one way out. And I'm the guy that gets to give it to you. The music. Finish, Sam. Nobody's carrying you to the doctor this time, Sam. You kill me now in the dawn. She's never gonna stop looking for you. No. But you let me live. I'll tell Salieri you're dead. Nope. You can disappear. Nope. Just like Frank. Nope. Nope. Only you'll be smart enough to stay gone. Right? What happened to him? He was hiding out in Europe. What <gasps> <laughs> the dumb bastard. He started betting at the dog track. Got spotted by a friend of the family. So Salieri, he sent out a crew. And his family? That little voice in the back of your head. Maybe sounds like your baby girl, Sarah. Always telling you not to pull that trigger. And you can't make up your mind. It's getting easier every time you open your fucking mouth. <laughs> we sure had some laughs, right? Remember that time? Me, you. Polly, Sympathize with the situation, Tom, and I want to help your family, but I can't do anything unless you're willing to testify in court. You understand that, right? You'll have to sit in that box, stare down Salieri, Ralphie, Vinny, maybe even Sarah's father. I, I don't know if you got the stones for it, if I'm being honest. I'll do what needs to be done. But you need to get my family new identities and ship them far away from here. Well, oh hold my on. Gosh. It's a long road between us sitting here bumping gums and Sarah sleeping under new stars. Then I'm sorry I wasted your time. And mine. I gotta get out of town. Look, Tom. I got a family too. Wife, four boys. All Irish twins. Yeah. So you know I understand what you're going through. All the worrying over them, the fear that one of them's gonna go before you do. But this case, it'll be one of the biggest this city has ever seen. It could drag on for years. I don't know if I can protect you for that long, not the way things are downtown. Everyone's got to eat, right? Even dirty cops. Just being honest here, <sighs> there's a few bodies I can trust downtown, but not many. And if it comes down to you or me taking a bullet, I'm not going to make my wife a widow. Keeping you alive in exactly the moral course, but I'll try. 
That's a pretty good sales job. Trying to make me think you got nothing on the line. But this is your whole career right here. However it works out for me, whether I live or die, you get to crack the Morello case and take down a Don. Celieri will be your legacy. Yeah. Don't go thinking you know me, Tom. Salieri belongs behind bars. I'll help you so long as you help me put him there. That's all this is. Okay. Then that has to be enough. <gasps> oh my god. Long time ago, in another life, someone once told me that family is a man's Achilles heel, his greatest weakness. Maybe he was right. Because everything I've done, both good and bad, no. I've done for my family. I've turned my back on people they thought were my friends. I've kept a lot of hard promises. I spent eight years <gasps> totally alone. Trying to find myself. So I could come home. A better husband. A better father. A better man. Now that I'm a lot older and just a bit wiser, <laughs> I see that family is our greatest weakness, but it's also our greatest strength. Gets us out of bed in the morning. Well, lets us chase our dreams, even when they're moving too fast to catch. And it keeps us from falling over when we're too tired to take another step. Oh, no, 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 no. Mr. Angelo. Oh, no. Who? Yes. Mr. Salieri sends his regards. Tommy! That's okay. You're safe now. You're all safe. Remember that money, jobs, even best pals will come and go. But family. Family is forever. about that. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about that. Um... I feel, like, literally I feel... uneasy. And I get that there's two meanings to family, right? Like the blood family, your wife, your kids, and then the mafia, which is what this game is all about. But I kind of feel empty. Like, 
Ah. And, you know, I, I, I don't know how I feel, too, about him separating the money and the best pals from family. And... I don't know. Maybe he doesn't mean the mafia because to me, his chosen family was in fact Polly and Sam, and that's why it hurt so much. Because it shows how powerful Salieri is that he um, had those people, you know? He was in prison, but he still had people to kill Tommy as Tommy as the protagonist we did some pretty uneasy awful things I don't know I can handle a sad ending but this one just felt like okay I get it the mafia is powerful okay I get it we did some crappy things but that ending is just I don't know I guess he's realizing that he is the danger he's the the villain but still like this is the guy we played as and it would have been nice for some kind of redemption, I guess. And that wasn't like he got shot in his front yard. And there were moments where he did try to be different and like try to be different than other members of the gang. That's what made him relatable and an interesting character. Cause he was an anti-hero, you know? So Mafia Trilogy, let's look at that. Hmm just a new person unless it's like his son or something that would be cool because it looked like th there were multiple kids you know i guess it has to be messy you can't just did you guys did you guys watch peaky blinders i loved that ending okay if you haven't seen peaky blinders also i'm very pink sorry spoilers if you haven't seen season six of peaky blinders but um what i really liked about that was that he got away from it all i mean he did have to kill people he loved i guess and there was that betrayal but there was more of like this moving ending and we saw like yes that's our flawed anti-hero that's our flawed protagonist but he's ours and like when he was riding off on the white horse and just like taking accountability for what he did i don't know for some reason that ending did not get me the give me the same feeling it felt like little too intellectual and don't get me wrong i loved the whole thing with sam and polly and like that was a great reveal i had no idea sam was the one who was you know kind of not even like being the the rat but the fact that he was watching tommy and he was ready to jump at a chance like this you know but he still was friends with him like i i liked that I really liked how they showed you who Salieri was before. So it, to me, it didn't come as any kind of shock because the way he stomped that guy's head in and like he was shown to be get, getting very aggressive and angry. So like, I really liked that. There was a lot that I really liked. It's just the ending was a little, a little off for me. And I don't think it means that it's like not a good game or like not a good ending even. For me, I lie more in my emotions. I feel like I didn't really get that catharsis. I was kind of tearing up most times, but then I didn't get, I don't know. Do you guys, does anyone know what I'm talking about? I'm just like, ugh, okay. But wouldn't it have been cool if Tommy did find a way, like really out? I know he was older and he, you know, he had to die at some point. But to be shot in his front yard, like, I feel like it was almost just to be shocking. And like intellectually, I guess you could explain to me how that made sense. It was the right choice. But emotionally, I, it didn't do it for me. So let me know if you think I will like Mafia 2. I really enjoyed playing this game. I really loved a lot of the story. I loved the scene. I think that was my favorite scene of Polly and Tommy on the train and him talking about just wanting a pizzeria and settling down. You know, I knew something like that was going to happen. Like one of them was going to die like that. I don't know, just the ending. I don't know. I feel like I have to listen to sad music or something to like, I don't know. It was, it didn't feel empowering. And it would have been cool to see him like beat the system somehow. 
And also it made me feel weird to see Ralph and Vinny getting arrested too. And I know that they participated in that. Oh, uh, I don't know. I don't know. And I know Tommy isn't perfect. And you can't have a perfect ending. I hope someone knows what I'm talking about. I'm still really glad I played it. I still really enjoyed it. It was literally just the ending that I was like, what? And also I'm gonna have to think about the Sam stuff. Like I'm still a little bit confused about his character, but let me know your thoughts and explanations and stuff. Um, I'd love, I love hearing what you think and let me know what you'd like me to play next. If you think I would like Mafia 2 or if we should move on to something else, let me know, let me know. I love you all a lot. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Appreciate you and bye. Love you. Bye.